Wow. Y'all, Cat Williams just dropped an insane bombshell on Diddy, saying Diddy's wild freak-off footage is just the appetizer, and Jay-Z might be the main course for the feds. According to Cat, the feds have hours and hours of freak-off footage that are horrifying, to say the least. And get this, he's claiming that Jay-Z is allegedly on the list. Now, Kat's You already know what it is. It's your boy, Laid Back, with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Diddy, Jay-Z, you up to bat. Bah. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Elevate more in 2024. Elevate more in 2024. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. Make sure you hit the like button, man. But like I said, I'm gonna be covering this stuff, man, to the best of my ability. This is a lot of stuff going on. It's a lot of stuff going on with Diddy, man. But they also bring in Jay-Z into it. They bring in a lot of different names into it. So we here with another TikTok compilation. It's going to be a long one. You know what I mean? So make sure you buckle in, strap up, get your popcorn. Make sure you got some time to digest this because it's going to be a lot. But you make it to the end of this one. You a real one for real, man. Do not forget to drop that in the comments, man. Also, I got a TikTok playlist. You can go through it, binge watch all my stuff. It's it's a lot in there. It's more stuff in there than just Diddy stuff too. But let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad, what's popping? Let's get it. The Jay-Z victims are gonna be worse. <laughs> They're worse because of the psychological torture that comes along with what he does. Mm. Like Do I said, he's... Do you, do you think Jay Z Jay Z is scared right now? Oh, he's do your own research. Do your own research, man. Terrified. He's terrified. He's losing confidence everywhere. But the only confidence he's worried about keeping secure are those white boys that he worked for. Ooh. That's his only loyalty. Ooh. Not even to his wife is he loyal. Hello, man. Jay Z be talking about black excellence and all that stuff, and he only loyal to let Jaguar tell it though. You know what I'm saying? But let's just keep going. But what what do you think? And just again, hypothetically, if 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 his kids, as young as they are, asked, "Daddy, who's that man on TV getting arrested? Isn't that your friend?" <laughs> what would his response be? No. He wouldn't respond. He just he would just laugh and walk away. Mm. That's Sean Carter. What? He doesn't own up to anything. Ever. Mm. Or gaslights you right in your face. Do it smooth. Mm. He's a sociopath. He doesn't have any real feelings or emotions. Everything is transactional, you know? I honestly, I think the only time he's really comfortable and happy in his own skin is when he's laying in the warm embrace of a man. Oh, hell no! Jay-Z being embraced by a man? Stop it. I mean, I don't know, but whoa. Whoa, I mean, I can't put nothing past these allegations but wow yeah come on yeah <laughs> he said come on what <laughs> oh, <man>. oh, <laughs> see I ain't, I ain't i ain't the only one even buddy even the interviewer started laughing real feelings or emotions everything is transactional you know what he said Hold I on. honestly i think the only time he's really comfortable and happy in his own skin is when he's Laying in the warm embrace of a man. Jack, come on. Jack. What? <laughs> come on, man. You can't paint what? those kind of pictures into people's heads, man. <laughs> Why it got painted in the mind with the videotape that I saw of him looking very happy in the embrace of a man? I didn't want to believe it. Damn, okay. 
Well, Jack, the, I, 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 I got it. Then it all made sense, you know. Jack, what was the the last conversation that you and JC had? How did that go? He told me he was going to end my career and make sure no one in the world ever knew I existed. And I told him it was a pretty big world. And we'll see, Sean. Mm. <laughs> Amazing hat trick. Wow. This is going to be spicy. What up, man? We ain't gonna stop with just P. Diddy, man. Go on here and lock Jay Z up, too. He need to be right there, sell mate, with P. Diddy. All the stuff Jay Z done did, he need to be in there with P. Diddy, too. Goddamn me. Not just that. He told this lady, Rihanna, when she was 16 or 15, underage, wasn't grown, that either she gonna sign this deal and walk out the door, or she not gonna sign that deal and go out the window. And they was 29. Whoa. 29 flights up, man. What? Come on, man. Lock the door. You hear that girl against her will. Ain't no telling what else she did in that room. If he'll do all that, ain't no telling what else she did in that room. Lock his ass up. Lock his big nose ass up. Lock him up. Get him a bump. Give his nose a bump. Oh, my God. Get his God. lips a bump. Have them all in there in the same cell together. Him, his nose, his lips, all that. Lock his ass up. Yeah. Yeah, we ain't, no, 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 no. It's time out for this foolishness, man. The Dittler is in there. Put Jay-Z in there and put their baby oil in there with them. Lock them up. Lock them up, man. This When I heard about this story, I just heard, I just got my page back, y'all. They hacked me, like legit hacked me, man. So I'm letting y'all know now, don't click on no links. Don't be half sleep on your phone because that's what I did. They clicked on a link about a blue chick and they hacked me. They took my money. Damn. Oh, that I get paid this last month. They took it, but I'm back now. And this is the introduction video. Anybody that's doing somebody wrong, we locking the ass up or we kicking ass. So since we can't get the Jay-Z, lock his ass up with the rest of them. Lock him up with Diddy. He needs some company anyway. Man, let's go. Drop your comments, man. Did y'all hear this story about this, hell? And what's going on, man? Hey, I'm back, baby. Big talker, man. Let's go. Glad he got his account back. Y'all, some crazy documents just leaked from the ongoing federal case against Diddy, and it looks like we finally have confirmation that not only was Rihanna allegedly Jay-Z's victim, but he also sold her to his BFF Diddy, as well as other people in the industry. The streets have been saying this for a hot minute now that Jay-Z is not exactly innocent because he and Diddy were up to some real crazy stuff on the down low, and it looks like those shenanigans are finally coming to light. Y'all, looks like we finally know why Rihanna never wants to get in the studio again. According to these documents, she was allegedly turned every way, but loose. Y'all need to get in on this because this tea is absolutely crazy. The streets have been buzzing about Rihanna and Jay-Z's real relationship for ages, and those rumors just don't seem to fade. Rihanna entered the industry as a teenager, and Jay-Z was her mentor, basically running every part of her life. The gossip about their dynamic has always stayed strong, even though they have both denied being involved with each other. Rihanna didn't take his mentorship for granted because she was super grateful for every opportunity that she had been given. Working with Jay and having a collaboration with him is, is just one of those things that everyone dreams to do in their musical career. And here I am at 19 years old with the number one single and featuring Jay-Z. It's just, I can't fathom it sometimes. It's just too much for me to, it's overwhelming sometimes. Then the tea started spilling that Jay-Z and Rihanna might have secretly had something going on even though he was married to Beyonce. At first, people weren't Damn, that's it? That's one thing about TikTok. Pinky coming up. Sean will talk. That's why Jay-Z is running. That's why Jay-Z is nervous. Jaguar is talking about it. So many, so many other artists at the moment. The industry as an organization ends up in my office, in my office, unannounced, in my office saying, will you help me? I'm not part of it. Whoa. Started speaking up about his very good friend. Just nine months ago, you were singing his praises. Diddy's been arrested, and now some major names are getting dragged into this mess. We're talking about none other than Jay Z and Beyonce. Allegedly, I'll say allegedly, because they make us, right? Minors did attend these parties. Minors. That charge has not been brought yet. 
Rumor has it they might have helped Diddy pull off these shocking crimes, and now they're mm. trying to make a run for it. But Diddy also tried to flee, and we all know how that ended for him. Hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs is in custody this morning after being detained overnight by federal authorities in New York. Okay. So, is the power couple about to face the same fate? Are mm. Jay and Bay really involved in all this, or are they just trying to cover their tracks before it all blows up? Let's find out. Diddy's facing some heavy charges this week, racketeering conspiracy and ST. And he's pleaded mm. not guilty, but he's still locked up until his federal trial in New York. So what's next for the 54-year-old music mogul? And what about the employees and associates who were allegedly caught up in all this? Damian Williams, the U.S. attorney behind the indictment, didn't give much away when asked if Diddy or others could be hit with even more charges. Seems like this case might have a lot more twists to come. I can't rule anything out. Anything's possible, Williams said. The mm. investigation is very active and ongoing, and if you know anything about how this office works, you know developments are definitely on the horizon. But I can't say for sure right now. Man, Jay-Z boy. Beyonce is not looking good for you. Freddie P from Making the Band just revealed that Diddy actually made them boys walk the streets in New York to get cheesecake for you. And he said that you was upstairs the whole time. But just why were you? What business did you have with the diddler? You never made an appearance on the show. Yikes. Yo, these shades is crazy. But see, the Carters are just having a week between Freddie P revealing this information, Nicki Minaj going off on Jay-Z and Flop Nation about all of that mess with title, and we saw you signing in a different area and people really didn't make no money from title, according to Nicki and Kanye. Like, it's just not looking good for y'all. It seems like the walls are really closing in on y'all. To add on to it, Chloe Bailey bouncing around on IG because she said y'all won't book her on a stage. Beyonce, Jay-Z, get ready because the feds is coming. Mm, this is going to be interesting. Like songs, What's that? Is that that's Mall King? Yeah, feeling marvelous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the shoes, though. Y'all know what it is. Mm. Mm -hmm. One of them says that they had um, an interaction with Diddy in 2014, um, and they are willing to uh, tell the feds what they know about that interaction. And uh, another one said that uh, they are willing and act not only willing, but have been subpoenaed uh, to go before the grand jury. So uh, the, the second person could end up going to before the grand jury. At this stage, they are just going to be interviewed by prosecutors. Mm -hmm. uh, clearly, they're trying to figure out uh, what these other witnesses know and how they can uh, help them this uh, convict great. Diddy. And that's, uh, that's the name of the game at this point for the feds. A former warden has publicly stated that Diddy's life could be in jeopardy while he remains in custody. Weapons during raids revealing disturbing details about Diddy's alleged abuse. Can you, they found, apparently they said, uh, uh, what did they find? The amount of stuff they found in the place, which was ridiculous. A hundred bottles of baby oil. Baby. 50 cent trolls did he, and, and his 1,000 bottles of lube and baby oil found in a federal raid. Uh, he took a shot at Diddy uh, after his longtime rival was arrested on sex trafficking and racketeering charges. He says, the In The Club rapper 49 posted a picture on Instagram from his appearance on the Drew uh, uh, Barrymore show and made a crack about $1,000 bottles of lubricant and baby oil that were seized by Homeland Security at Combs home back in March. Here I am looking good company with the Drew Barrymore 50 cent caption alongside a snap of himself. I'm Drew Barrymore 49. So mm. Did you ever go to a Diddy party? Yes. And what was it like? A Diddy party? Is it like off, what they have in the media? Off, or off the hook. Off the hook? And whenever they went into the quote unquote alleged other section yeah. i was never there you were gone. Yeah, they, they, that's like i guess <laughs> i've been seeing y'all comments man and y'all been saying everybody that said they go to his party anytime it's about to get time for whatever the freak off time nobody is there everybody say well i left early and all that so that's why i laugh because i'll be reading y'all comments I think in general, getting away from Diddy and, and God bless him and whatever else he's dealing with, I don't beat people uh, while they're down. That's just mm -hmm. not who I am character-wise. No one can erase his legacy. Mm -hmm. um, Bad Boy Records and Faith Evans and Biggie and Craig Mack and 112 and T 
total and I mean d mogul, mogul, mogul. Oh. I mean, I don't know what all that other shit is is going on or allegedly, but man, I, I, you know, legacy is legacy, man. Mm -hmm. You know, surviving Neverland. Did that stop you from listening to Michael Jackson after the documentary came out? I don't know. Mm. Carter is just as bad as the diddler. And I know that for a fact. I got the scars to prove it. Aren't they? And I hope they don't, but if they detain him, that's when all motherfuckers lining up with their hand in air. And you're gonna pay me in full. Mm. I got your boy Diddy by the nut. Looks like things are getting real messy between Diddy, Jay-Z, and yup, R. Kelly. So what? R. Kelly, locked up and doing time, has been pretty quiet for a while, but rumors are flying that he's about to spill everything. Revenge, and that was his revenge to fund the surviving R. Kelly documentary and, and that, that fucked R. Kelly life and got him locked. The word on the street? Jay-Z might have had a hand in putting R. Kelly away. There's wow. talk that Jay was not only in the background funding that bombshell R. Kelly documentary, the one that was key in court, but also whispering to the feds? Is it true? And if so, how deep does this rabbit hole go? Wow. Life sentence for R. Kelly. This man is a prolific serial <laughs> who utilized his status as a Grammy award-winning household name to inflict pain and anguish on so many victims. Diddy Here's where it gets juicier. You know Jay-Z and Diddy have always had that tight connection. Besties, business partners, or something else, sources are now claiming that both of them are Fed informants. Yeah, you heard that right. But with Diddy now staring down a massive court case, it seems like some skeletons are about to come crashing out of the closet. Um, are any of his accomplices or uh, associates under investigation? And additionally, could he face any more charges? So the investigation is ongoing. That means both as to him. Could R. Kelly be sitting on some explosive info about Diddy, mm. just waiting for the perfect moment to strike a deal and possibly walk crazy. out of prison early? And seriously, if R. Kelly does speak, who's about to get burned? Buckle up, because this one's about to get wild. So it all started when Diddy's arrest news spread like a fire. Many disturbing things have been found during investigation, and some sources suggest that Diddy is not alone in all these things. So the investigation is ongoing. That means both as as to him and to anyone else who we believe uh, committed the crime uh, with him. Rumors started swirling that someone else was getting close to Diddy, and guess who popped up as the main... This is some wild Y'all, Cat Williams just dropped an insane bombshell on Diddy, saying Diddy's wild freak-off footage is just the appetizer, and Jay-Z might be the main course for the feds. According to Cat, the feds have hours and hours of freak-off footage that are horrifying, to say the least. And get this, he's claiming that Jay-Z is allegedly on the list. Now, Cat's been trying to warn us about Diddy for years, but nobody was listening. Well, guess what? They're listening now. Diddy's in hot water, facing multiple lawsuits, and even got arrested. The accusations? Let's just say they're not pretty. We're talking non-consensual acts, folks. But hold on to your wigs, because this is just the beginning. Kat's hinting that there's way more dirt about to come out, and it's all swirling around Jay-Z. Mm. We're talking footage that'll make your jaw drop, because Kat is now claiming that Jay-Z is going down, and he is going down hard. So what's the deal with these so-called freak-off tapes? Kat's saying they're so shocking, they make Cassie's lawsuit look tame. But here's mm. the kicker. It's not just Diddy on those tapes. Word is, there might be footage of Jay-Z that could change everything we thought we knew about hip-hop's power couple. The tea is piping hot, and Cat Williams is serving it up scalding. He's talking about hours and hours of footage that's got the feds working overtime. We're not just talking about your average celebrity scandal here. This is next-level stuff that's got everyone from music execs to A-list celebs sweating bullets. Now, let's break it down. These freak-offs Cat's talking about, they're not your run-of-the-mill wild parties. We're talking about some seriously messed up stuff that's allegedly been going down behind closed doors. And get this, it's not just random people involved. We're talking big names, folks. The kind of names that make headlines just by walking down the street. But here's where it gets real juicy. Cat's dropping hints that Jay-Z might be caught up in all this mess too. Can you believe it? The man who's been at the top of the game for decades might be about to take a serious fall. And if what Cat's saying is true, it's gonna shake the entire industry to its core. Now you might be thinking, hold up, how do we know this isn't just some crazy rumor? Well, here's the thing. The feds have been on Diddy's case since 2008. That's over a decade of surveillance, folks. And Man, this is crazy stuff. Jay was trying to get out of as well. 
and I didn't know. He was sending flowers, and he was courting her. Because the rumor originally was that you were a connected to Jay. Exactly. Jay and I were hanging out a lot. He's my homie. We have a lot of fun together, but we never dated. Child, this is a hot stinking mess. But that wasn't all the wild things that Jay-Z was doing. Dame said he was forced to cut Jay off as a friend after he realized Jay was willing to do anything for power, even if that meant sacrificing the careers of naive girls associating with practice in the industry. Now, in case y'all are wondering why Dame was even saying this, well, it's because at the time that R. Kelly was exposed for messing with underage girls and even faking documents to marry Aaliyah when she was 15. Jay was still shamelessly supporting R. Kelly and even made an entire joint with him. He was basically saying he didn't give a care in the world about them victims and he was still helping R. Kelly's career. The idea of having a whole album with um, myself and R. Kelly was just mm -hmm. to see how it would come out it was just an amazing prospect. So we mm -hmm. just we put it together and we started coming up and here we are. A real hot mess, but it gets even worse because when Aaliyah passed away in that fatal plane crash, it was rumored that her death was a sacrifice and that some of the industry elites, aka Jay-Z and R. Kelly, had allegedly orchestrated that as a sacrifice wow. to the Illuminati. These rumors got fueled when the details of her strange death were released. It turns out Aaliyah was never even supposed to be on the plane that day. She was given a sedative without her consent, and what? when she went unconscious, they put her in against her will. The plane crash that killed a rising star in the world of music and film. Reaction today after Aaliyah and eight others were killed when their plane went down. The plane, just after taking off for Florida in perfect weather, suddenly plummeted perfect to the ground. Weather. Investigators now saying one of the engines apparently failed. Mm -hmm. Along with eight passengers, Aaliyah, a young Brooklyn native and a talented singer and actress. I ain't never heard that. Forced in there. Okay, so quick question. If Jay-Z ends up becoming the next suspect, you know, of the downfall of uh, the black billionaires, are y'all going to bully Beyonce just as much as y'all bully Nicki Minaj about who she chooses to be with? Because, you know, a lot of y'all have returned y'all Barb card off, you know, off the strength that Nicki Minaj is married to a sex offender or, you know, a felon or whatever the case may be. Are y'all going to keep that same energy with Beyonce when all of their dirty, dirty laundry, if their dirty laundry starts to come out? Because just as much, and then I'll even switch it over, just as much as y'all are dragging Carisha and how she knew about this stuff and there's no way you just, you know, were avoiding a thousand bottles of baby oil, there's no way that what Beyonce knew this man since she was 19 been with this man since she was 19 and doesn't know about the things that he's been doing are y'all gonna bully her too or like is Beyonce above that is she like you know pure and heavenly and like be nobody better not come for Beyonce or are y'all gonna keep are y'all gonna do her like y'all do Nikki I just want to know I need somebody to tell me what's going on because apparently these two are AWOL. Missing in action. Ain't nobody seen or heard a peep from them. The music industry is on the verge of putting out a missing person report for Beyonce page six years. With her once blazing country album, Cowboy Carter, already going the way of the tumbling tumbleweed, biz vets say the superstar has inexplicably gone AWOL. And insiders are muttering that it might be because she and husband Jay-Z are nervous about showing their faces during Diddy's vast abuse scandal, lest they draw attention to their longtime friendship with the disgraced hip hop mogul. Mm -hmm. Adding fuel to the fire, the report highlighted the ongoing abuse scandal surrounding Combs. Multiple women have come forward with harrowing accounts of sexual and physical assaults, casting a dark shadow over the hip hop mogul's legacy. While there is no direct connection between Beyonce, Jay Z, and the lawsuit against Combs, the insider hinted at a possible link. Now, I don't know mm. about you guys, but on my old account, I covered them very, very frequently. And one thing I do know is Jay-Z and Diddy, they're like this. Mm. If anybody knows anything about Jay-Z, it's Diddy. If anybody mm. knows anything about Diddy, it's Jay-Z. They're probably not even missing. They probably just off in the cut somewhere minding their business. But for an outlet like Page Six to say, hey, where they at? We don't hear nothing about Cowboy Carter anymore. We don't hear anything about Jay-Z or Beyonce. 
what's going on i had posted it on my old account by sloan bella and she said that there's a political figure behind the reason diddy is not locked up yet all i'm gonna say mm. is he used to be president and his last name starts with an o Baby, it looks like Jay-Z and Beyonce are already feeling the heat after Diddy's arrest. Because word on the street is, Jay-Z just met up with a criminal attorney and a divorce lawyer all on the same day. Nah. This news just sent the internet into a frenzy. Because just after Diddy's arrest, there was word going around that the feds were eyeing Jay-Z as the next person to investigate. Because of his strong affiliations with Diddy and some of the dirty deals that they made together in the past. But no one expected for things to catch up to Jay this early. Everybody thought that the feds would be looking into him after Diddy was tried and sentenced, but considering the fact that he just met up with a criminal defense lawyer, it means the end might be nearing closer than we think, and Beyonce is not waiting around to get dragged along with him. She's reportedly already getting divorce papers together and is ready to disappear. How do they know this though? Where is this stuff coming from? Like how, how, how? Here, once stuff hits the fan. Chow, without wasting any more time, let's just get right into it because the tea is piping hot. Now, as y'all already know, Jay and Diddy were pretty much besties in the industry and they did everything together. At some point, Diddy even was referring to Jay as his brother. However, right after Diddy was incriminated in Cassie's lawsuit, Jay started distancing himself so that he wouldn't catch up to him too. But it's too late for all that now because this whole mess is at his front door and Beyonce is not sticking around to help him through it. In fact, the rumors about Beyonce leaving him have been going around for a few months now, but everybody thought it was a lie. The rumor was started by the YouTube tea blogger Storm Monroe. According to Storm, he's got several insiders in the industry, and his source, who's actually in Beyonce's camp, spilled some tea exclusive to him, claiming that Beyonce has been gearing up to leave Jay since last November when Cassie filed that lawsuit. Mm. According to this source, the reason why Beyonce has been pushing all these products and trying to push albums down folks' throats is because things are about to get really bad and she's trying to make as much money as she possibly can before jay is exposed by the feds whoa this is a lot the streets are saying that beyonce done packed her stuff and packed her kids and dipped away from jay-z this isn't all that surprising because there have been rumors that their marriage is on its last leg and is barely hanging on by a thread this is an interesting turn of events because their marriage has always been allegedly a business transaction and the only mm. reason they have stayed together so long is that it financially made sense for them to be together rather than apart mm. to stay on the top to remember your relationship was a business relationship financial to get to the top, to be, be to become billionaires. There's no love there. Mm. See, what's done in the dark will definitely come in the light. Keep your threats up. I'm here today, and what I got to say, I'm gonna say it. So don't, don't, don't make idle threats to me. So as long as it made sense for them to be together, and as long as they could keep up the image of being the number one power couple in Hollywood, nothing could tear them apart or break their marriage. But now it looks like the marriage is at risk because rumor has it that Jay-Z is about to get the Diddy treatment. And he is on his way down just like Diddy. For some context, there have been rumors now that Beyonce is gradually checking out of the marriage and that she has been separated from Jay-Z for a hot minute now. What I've heard about them as a couple is that they've been living separate lives for a very long time. So they together, but they live in separate. And part of the reason why they have already live in separate lives and we may actually see one of the biggest divorces in Hollywood is because Jay-Z is up next to be exposed. And it's only so much of these stories that Jay-Z can, you know, he can pay off or he can block. He won't be able to stop this. And she knows it and he knows it too. Um, as far as Who's going to be the breakout victim slash story? I, I, I don't know. Y'all might have to answer this somebody. I don't know. But I'm just letting you know that once that comes out. The fall of Jay-Z and Beyonce, April the 24th, 2024. And God is saying that the queen and the king have started their downward descent and that absolutely nothing is going to stop it. The Lord is mm. saying that these people are guilty of heinous crimes and that he is going to see to it that evidence about them will get into the right hands and then their fall will be monumental, which means we will never forget it, and mm. disastrous. They're guilty of horrible acts and crimes against crimes that they have committed in private, meaning it could be one of them with a child, it could be both of them with a child or 
children, but they have also committed the horrible acts and crimes against in public. That means that there have been other witnesses to this. It could be consenting witnesses. It could be people who have been hurting the children with them, or it could be non-consenting witnesses, meaning people of lower station, perhaps a cook, perhaps a driver, perhaps a butler, perhaps a personal assistant, people who have stories to tell, but because the season was not right to speak against such powerful and well-protected people, they couldn't say anything. But now God says that it will be a mountain of evidence coming out and that people will be more than eager to testify. So people have been hurt and people will have grievances and people will be coming out and talking and this thing will become a snowball. And who will be going down in it is Beyonce and Jay-Z. So that is the full dream. And I just want to say to people that I can already see See how good I keep secrets, Sean? And I'm gonna tell you something else and I'll give you this one for free. Big L, better than you do, Nick. I'd rather be with that dead man than ever be with you. Because the Diddy, the Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. They didn't turn over tapes. Jaguar Wright knows it all, and she's finally exposing all the darkest secrets in the industry. She hasn't taken a break ever since Diddy got his first lawsuit, and now five suits later, and she still hasn't stopped. But she's not only calling Diddy out. Nope, many other Hollywood bigwigs have entered the mix, including the power couple itself, Jay-Z and Beyonce. You've all seen the footage of the feds raiding Diddy's mansion and turning it upside down. Hold on to your seats because the latest update will leave you shocked. Rumor has it they found some tapes that will not only send Diddy straight to jail, but his associates too. And Jay-Z is terrified of the footage they might find. Jaguar says it's something involving him and Beyonce, and it doesn't look good for them at all. Now, Diddy started off 2023 on fire, killing it at the MTV VMAs, dropping a fire R&B album, and even rumors of him buying up the BET network. But then, things took a nosedive real quick. He got hit with a slew of lawsuits accusing him of some serious stuff, and it's definitely put a dark cloud over his career. Rumor has it that the authorities even raided some of Diddy's spots as part of a massive federal investigation. And get this, the Department of Homeland Security Investigations Transnational Organized Crime Division is leading the charge. It's all about some serious crimes and some folks even got detained. And where was Diddy during all this drama? It's still a mystery, but his Miami crib got stormed too after some hefty allegations were thrown his way in multiple civil lawsuits filed in New York. So picture this, Diddy's crib, Homeland Security raid, and guess what they find? Not just any old stuff, but a gold mine of gadgets, laptops, phones, you name it. Now you know when the feds roll in with that gear, they're on a mission. And oh boy, did they find some treasure all right? Compromising tapes? Diddy's lawyers are out here screaming witch hunt, while the feds are busy piecing together this puzzle of hidden cameras and those tapes. His attorney said yesterday there was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs's residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his wow. children and employees were treated. Mr. Combs was never detained but spoke to and cooperated with authorities. Despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way. This well, unprecedented changed. ambush paired with an advanced coordinated media presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Now, here's where it gets juicy. Word on the street is Diddy might have had a hand in serving up these tapes to the feds. And guess who's the star of one of these tapes? None other than the Carters. Yeah, you heard mm. me right. Apparently, Diddy's got a knack for keeping receipts and he's not afraid to use them. Why would Diddy spill the tea on Jay and Bay? Well, rumor has it that it's payback time. Seems like Diddy felt a little neglected during his legal battles and decided it was time to steer the pot, and it doesn't stop there. Cassie spilled some tea too, like how Diddy allegedly made her star in his personal art projects and kept those videos on lock even after she tried to delete them. And Lil Rod, he's got a whole stack of recordings claiming Diddy's got hidden cameras everywhere, even in the bathroom. Yeah, mm -hmm. talk about invasion of privacy. We all knew that Diddy had some dirt hiding in his electronics. Man, this is craziness. So this man goes by the name of Uncle Ron, and he has stated that he was Beyonce's former bodyguard. He also made huge allegations against Jay-Z, Beyonce, and P. Diddy. Take a look at what he had to say. She's been on him for a long time, and you keep her that way. Y'all wish it what you wish it. To stay on top. But there's one thing about me, bro. I can't 
can't be bought. Mm. This is Uncle Ron. Just like I know how you... That Biggie had plans of leaving Bad Boy. Mm. Biggie should have never been in California to pro prom promote an album with a broken fibula bone who can barely walk. To go to another studio when Diddy has his own studio in New York. Diddy is pure evil. He has a very nasty disposition. He treats everybody like crap. Every single employee he's ever had. He and his mother have looked down on them, belittled them, talked to them like they were the lowest scum on the mm. earth. So he could always have his way. Amar, Muhammad, and Shug Knight, or Amir. He continues to go on saying that Jay-Z and P. Diddy set Biggie Smalls up simply because Biggie was going to leave his contract and that Jay-Z wanted to be the best rapper out. Mm. And he also stated the reason he didn't say anything when it happened is because he had kids and his kids were younger and they were his first priority. He also stated that he gave all the receipts and documentation showing that they had something to do with his death to the FBI Whoa. because he's involved in the case as well. Personally, I believe them because as a bodyguard, you are by the person 24 seven. Their business is simply your business. Everything they know, you know as well. Not to mention he went too far in detail about how P. Diddy asked multiple bodyguards to put a hit on Biggie, the what? date and the time, and how they all turned it down. But it also makes a lot of sense on why a lot of stuff was going on the way it did. I'm running out of time, so part two coming soon. Man, putting a hit out? When you hear 16 carriages, she is directly stating that her entire life, she recorded this album years ago, yeah. but her entire like her entire life summers her whole life has been taken away from her mm -hmm. she wants freedom the name of the album is cowboy carter um and he's traveling when i tell what you a narcissist. everywhere everywhere with her she stopped posting pictures of her anniversary years ago she's the next slave princess she's like britney she's trapped mm. she probably can't get out and she knows it and she knows it if she tries to get out they'll do to her what they did to britney spears any musician wow. with that level of fame and power, they will not I'm like, let Jay -Z you go. It's not working. He ain't really got yeah. no artists under Rock Nation. What does yeah. he own? Like, think about it. Yeah. Like, when you look at Jay Z, yeah, okay, the Ace of Spades, Champagne. What else does Jay Z own? He don't own no ball team, right? Like, they were trying to say that he owned the ball team. No, like right. that stuff. That's all. He's like, you know how you buy shares into something? Mm -hmm. You buy shares into it. But I'm talking about true like money like he it's on beyonce's ass like everywhere that she goes you asked what does jay-z own well it sounds like people <laughs> Ooh. that part you know Ooh. it's true though but i'm just like what does beyonce is clearly her own artist yeah why did do, why doesn't she have a direct deal with live nation he's not gonna let her go there's no way he could absolutely hate her and he still would not let her go like i said early in the show these people all they care about is money and fame specifically the handlers. There are a lot of people in Hollywood that are just pure victims and they're slaves. So Jay-Z got Beyonce as a slave? Jay-Z and Beyonce kind of shifting in the next three years. So by 2027, they no longer wield the public power that you think they do. And they will have to approach you in a different way. Now on an energetic level, what I'm being told about Jay-Z is that he has investments in all kinds of mind technology, aka Elon Musk. But I'm not sure it's through Elon Musk. It's in other countries, other kinds of capital venture towards the controlling of the human mindset. He has allowed portions of what he chooses to do in his life 
into a consciousness center where people can tap into being him. So it's almost what? a robotic stance where you yourself can put the goggles on and learn how to live Jay-Z's life. He's agreed to do this. So he's kind of a captive, but in a public form and has no cognitive or conscious awareness of this. That's a weird thing to say, but that's just the way, that's the energy I'm picking up on. No conscious awareness of what's going on around him. Also, keep in mind, keep in mind, they are very much, and, and here's what I'm getting. I am getting both Jay-Z and Beyonce because, see, he procures her out there. He is her handler, mm. and he is the one that pushes her out there public, and then he profits off her. So mm. we're looking at, and I don't care how much talent you think they have. I don't care how much talent you think they have. She was chosen for him. It is a karmic thing looking at their chart, but he was. she was chosen for him in order to help him get where he needed to go. So she's the muse, but let's use this in a different way. Sometimes we use the word muse in the terms of profiteering off of it. He's very aware of entertainers, male and female, where he needs to go to keep his money coming in and what he's actually selling. Now this connects him to R. Kelly, high Whoa. level pimping and pandering for the music Whoa. industry through the trafficking. Whoa. So according to her, Jay-Z is pimping Beyonce. Am I the only one like this? The first time I've ever heard of this before. You got to let me know in the comments. Have you heard of this before? This is the first time I'm hearing this type of stuff that Jay-Z is pimping her. That Like he's her handler. He, she can't go nowhere without him type thing. Like, really? Wow. My camera cut off when I said trafficking. Through the trafficking of human beings, okay? So I'm going to put that out there in that fashion. You, we, you, me, them, we are going to start seeing through the veil when it comes to Jay-Z. And within three years, public favor is removed. Now, he's not mm. the first one to go down behind P. Diddy but he's a close second. So it's a combination that's coming after him. And when they take him down, they're going to take Beyonce down behind him. Mm. And it's going to start crumbling, okay? So it's the next three years. On an energy level, what this is, is it is, understand, when you do um, occultist high level, and Jay-Z is a high level occultist, as is Beyonce, wow. when you're involved in high level entity conjuring she be going in boy oh this rabbit hole goes so deep y'all i just discovered that jay-z while he's married to beyonce had a mistress called kathy white and he got her pregnant she was gonna go public with the news and guess what now she's a goner. I think it was the next day that she had said that she was going to go public with the news and she uh, had an aneurysm. There's so many unexplained deaths. So many. And Jay-Z, Diddy, and so many others, their hands are bloody red and dirty and they need to go down. All those bottles of lube and baby oil. But the thing is, I don't know why we're shocked. Because remember when they tried to write Kanye off as mad? But he mm. told us. He told us who Diddy was. He told us who Jay-Z was. And he told us who Beyonce was. If you actually mm. remembered correctly. He told us the truth so good and proper. They had to say that man is mad. That man, he has lost the plot. But he told us that Diddy was head honcho. The Epstein of Hollywood. Mm. Kanye told us. Kanye told us so much so that they literally done all in their power to make that man be insane to the peoples. He wasn't insane. He was woke beyond his times. Mm. A phenomenon. He knew. He knew exactly who his counterparts were and he tried to tell us, but y'all made him look mad. Right? That lawyer, he needs to be fired. Matter of fact, he needs to be added on to the federal charges. <laughs> What do you mean? Whoa. What do you mean Cassie and Diddy was exchanging DV? That man slumped her and dragged her across the floor and we saw. We saw that video come out. What are you talking about? 
I want somebody who's gonna rise up Kim Porter's book because now all we need is Kim Porter's mm. book to 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 finish him off, literally. Mm. And I just believe that in this taking down Diddy, Jay Z, Beyonce, and a few other people gonna be looking real strange at the end of this. Asha, Meek. Yeah. Spicy. Um, I can't even hold you, pause. Uh, it really kind of affected me. You know, like, number one, that's all, you know, in the algorithm. That's all you're going to hear is every single day, all day long. This is all people are going to talk about. But you know, in, in hip hop, there's like a brotherhood. And a lot of us have known each other for like, you know, 30 years since we were like basically children. Mm. And he's one of those dudes like, you know, regardless to whether I agreed with who he was or what he did and how he did things. In hip hop, we were still brothers. Like I still consider his sons my nephews. Mm. You know, regardless to what he do, his sons will always be good with me, you know. If, if, you know, hopefully everything's cool with that as well, but, or children in general. And that's how I feel about everyone from my kind of generation that graduated from that era of hip hop. So it was like, damn. I knew how much this was number one gonna affect the face of hip hop, mm -hmm. cause he's been a pillar for the last 30 years. There was no hip hop without certain people being mentioned. Mm. And, you know, I'm proud to say that I'm one of those people, but he's definitely one of those people. And even though I've can always like somewhat has always been a competitive nature between him and I, I've always um, admired the fact that he'll do anything. Like when he ran the marathon, I was like, I wouldn't have did that. Like he, he definitely has turned up pause. Like he has a lot of energy. And um, I admired the fact that he was able to stay relevant yeah. over and over again. I couldn't understand it. I'd be like, how do you get that deal? He always gets those deals. You know, I was definitely transparent. I was definitely sort of pissed off because I felt like um, I started that thing with the, the vodka and the liquor and the almond deal. I, I remember having a conversation with him um, at the MTV Awards. And him asking me, like, oh, how'd you do that, blah, blah, blah. And he went and did it a different way and made a lot of money from it. But I was like, in my brain, I was like, he's always copying. You know what I mean? Like, and it's, sometimes I'd wonder, like, how does he get that deal? Like, I have a great idea, but he could always get the deal to connect him to pop culture where he could get that volume and be so embraced, you know? But I'd be like, but I'm going to still do it my way. And I don't care. Like, we've had conversations like, yo, bro, you know, it's kind of similar ideas. But yeah, but I do them better than you. Maybe you do. But I, you, you don't celebrate that kind of thing no matter what. Mm. You know? And um, I started to think because, like, every day something new comes out. So I'm, I'm thinking, I'm wondering in his brain, like, in this very moment, would he give up everything, all the money, all the history he's made with music, all of it, just to be regular and be free? Mm. Would he erase everything? Like, was it worth it? The 30 years of mm. rolling, you know, to, to, if he knew 30 years ago that he had 30 years to, to just do whatever he wanted um, and be well-respected and celebrated and, and, and do all these impactful things that, that have affected hip hop and the trajectory of hip hop. And, and, you know, now I'm seeing that, you know, he had a lot more power than I knew. So he was affecting everything. And, and you know, would he, would he be like, yo, I, I'll give it all up just so I could just be with my kids every day. Mm. And when I saw him at the park with his kids, I was like, yo, that's what I do every day. You know, that, that's what I walked away from because the ultimate wealth, I, I just always wanted a family. 
mm. you know? And my mom died when I was young. I lost my girl um, at the time, fairly young. You know, every, I, I, I haven't been in a functional relationship with any of, of my children's mothers. It's been war mm. before they were born. I, and, and all I wanted was just to just a peaceful life, be able to just pick my son up from school and or my child, my daughter, you know, go to all their activities, you know, take them to school, just grow with them, you know, and, and be with a woman that I love and be peaceful and grow together. You know, all those things was my dream. And. The crazy thing is the only way I was able to get to that dream was to detach from all of that stuff. Mm. Mm. I would never have gotten the ultimate dream had I mm. stayed around, mm. you know? That's so I, I just, you know, I, I know the kind of guy that he is and he's used to being a free spirited individual. And then I, I start to reflect like, yo, how did you avoid all that? How did you just know to stay away, you know? And it's just because, like, regardless of what, whether what he was doing was illegal or not, that will be judged in a court of law. But what we do know was he was doing some loose shit. Like, there were actual freak-off parties, and there were environments and things that were going on that I personally would never, ever, ever do, be around. And I think people know me, and hearing about these things actually happening... People would be like, now I understand why Dame really didn't get along with certain people. Mm. And then I'm thinking, mm. yo, this shit was really going on? Like, cause there, it seems like there's like the general party and then there's the VIP party where all the elite, the, the, so the elite people have to be knowing about what's going on and they're mm. still there, whether they're participating mm. or not. That's a secret. Mm. And it must, that kind of secret because, it, it, you know, like you, I heard things, but not that crazy. Not the things that have been admitted to doing. Like you know, not not Paul's baby oil crazy. Like I didn't know, you know. Like it's just something that was unfathomable to me. The fact that that didn't get out that means there's a that's a very secret club. Yeah, yeah. Whoever's holding that secret, they yeah. hold it tight to the vest. Yeah. And I'm like, what other secrets? Like. What deals were made Ooh. in those free calls? Because Ooh. a lot of the deals that happen, happen in social environments. That's why people go to the club and they hang out all day. Bankers hang out with bankers all day to get deals done. Like I would go to Tripiani's and I'd watch, we'd make, you know, billion dollar deals over a bottle of vodka. And it was all based on, you know, that, that hanging out and that trust. And you would throw your man an alley-oop because you're hung out. Mm. If you get into that secret club, and you're able to hold a secret so tight to the vest, you know a lot of business deals are getting made there. Mm. So now I'm like, damn, I might understand why certain people had certain opportunities, mm. certain deals. You Keep know, talking. And, and if they weren't participating, they were there. And they didn't leave. And they repetitively came back. Mm. So I don't think people knew or maybe they were, or they didn't know, but I, you know, I'll give people the benefit of doubt. Like, I don't think they thought it was illegal, but it was loose. And as far as moral compass, morally, that, that would not be the environment that I would want my kids around. Mm. I would want to be around. I wouldn't want to do no business in that environment. Could you imagine me going to one of those parties and walking in that room? What, what, what I'd be like, y'all know, where's the pause button? I'd be like, pause, pause, pause. I'd be like, you're in here, you're in here, y'all bugging. Well, I, I didn't know. That type shit. They know that right. I'm not tolerant or, you know, I don't look the other way. I'd be getting out the way. But I might not be so silent. I, I might not be able to keep that secret of what I saw. You know? So I'm like wondering, like, damn. And I, I, I'm, I'm wondering if people understand what, what the buckshot of another person's karma Ooh. is. Um, with, a, with, a, with a shotgun, you shoot in a pellet spray. Right. So you might hit your target, but the, the pellets are going to hit whoever's around. Right. So you might not meant to be getting shot. 
but you're going to catch a couple of a, a, a spray of those bullets. That's he what talking. karma's like. So if you are around somebody that may be doing something immoral and you might look the other way or might help facilitate it, karmically, you may be considered accountable. Mm. He went in on that. Kicked off. I remember him. R. Kelly had a uh, double CD, Best of Both Worlds. Now watch this. It's funny how Jay Z, inadvertently, he's tied to it. Inadvertently. Now let's say this. Let's say uh, uh, R. Kelly, the stuff that he's uh, accused of, or I guess convicted of, right? Jay Z was with him. Mm. Now I'm not saying Jay Z did nothing with him. Maybe it was just business or whatever. But I'm just saying Jay Z was with him. And this, and then you see this picture right here. So I mean, these guys. My point. My point is saying all that's this. These guys are around each other. No matter how you want to phrase it, no matter how you want to put sugar on it, you know, you know, no matter how you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, like I say, leave your feelings at the door. See, mm. my conversation is different because I don't care about your feelings. I don't care who you attach to. I don't care about none of that. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. So these guys was affiliated. And, and, and in concert with each other on multiple. Sit on the bed at night, no homo, no, just, just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close to the bed, but it's just like, yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man, man. You, you, it's been a pleasure. You didn't have to do it, you did. No, no, I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not giving the bed. Uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did. I'm just going to, if we can, just let's, let's just put the camera like this way, just so we're not, I don't want my shot to even, like, I don't want it to come close to the bed. Did he ain't like that? I should, I should look like he fresh off the goddamn plane. I should, I should, I should. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the frosted flakes. You know what I'm saying? Before pause was invented. You know what I'm saying? But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the frosted flakes because he used to always get up early. And now he's one of the richest stars in the world. And I'm Yo, like, what the f did Puff just say? Nobody's going to acknowledge this with me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the frosted like flakes. And we're streaming live. Look. That was stupid. Listen, that was stupid. Listen, we're having a good time. Listen. Yo, are you usher made it in the Hey, yo. I'm a thug. At the end of the day, I kill man. No, listen, at the end of the day, I kill right know me, man. Listen, in the streets, did it there this weekend. Uh, F5. I don't even, I don't even feel comfortable with you in my bed. Hold on, hold on. Can you go get some girls? Can you give me in the bedroom some girls? Let, 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 let's get some girls up here, please. Hey, yo, can you move out the way? I want to give you a proper introduction. Go get some, go get some girls. Go get some. <laughs> Matter of fact, while the girls come, hey, yo. He got a list Check this out, no homo, no homo. Come here, man. Hey, yo, Kevin, come here, no homo. We're going to have a contest. You know, we're going to have a contest. We're going to get our breath first because your breath is stinking sometimes. Diddy literally indicating sleeping with them. Imagine what's going on when the camera cut off. And we're going to go back and forth. Uh-oh. Uh, you know, first of all, make make sure my mic is on. Uh, before before I can get into, into trashing Diddy, you know, I'm going to acknowledge him on a special day. I bought the album. You know what I'm saying? So you bought I, didn't ask, I didn't ask you for nothing. No, you didn't. I didn't ask you for nothing first. Yes, yes. I downloaded it. I didn't you, go to the store because I'm lazy. I thought you I'm said you iTunes. bought it. You ain't say you downloaded it. Get your download, story right. Download you the download, show. You bought it. You lying. Like you lying. You lying. You're lying. You're lying. He's lying. You didn't even buy it yet. Listen. He's lying. Listen. Listen. Yo, come in here, man. Come in here, man. Come in here. Come Listen, listen. Uh, yo, come in here. No homo, no homo. We're going to get some ladies in here, though, but we're going to have, we're going to make sure our breakfast is fresh. No, say pause. Minute. Say pause. Pause, pause, pause. Don't acknowledge this. There's nothing to do with me, Puff. Nothing to do with me, Puff, right now. Hold on. Let's get some ladies in here. There's nothing to, just five casts all Five right. Put the yeah. game in the past. No, I, I'll go first. You know, no, no. It's a movement. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely it's go take movement. a swig of the rain. And for real, you the comedian, so go light on me tonight. It's my night. Don't, 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 don't kill me. No, I'm definitely going to kill it. Uh, but, but I'm but now, start off. Like I said, it's your day. You know, uh, you, you got a lot of people walking around with dirty money. Yeah, I, I, I want to say I'm sorry. No, no, no. Dude, listen, listen. Okay, um, security, security, security. Um, please help me out for a second. Okay, listen. First of all, if you don't get this failed UFC fighter out of here, no, dude, I'm just kidding. It's all jokes, man. No, no, don't say. Listen, you got a taser? Listen, listen, listen. I thought he, I thought he really had a taser. Let's go in and let's win. Hey yo, hey yo, check it out, check it out. We getting so much money out here. I don't really feel secure. So you know, no homo. I'm, I'm taking big white people with me everywhere. 
Big white people with guns is coming with me everywhere. I'm just telling you now, I'm not going nowhere. The security no, guns not supposed to let it. Diddy is not hiding in no more. Hey, yo, we, yo, we getting the party started. Hey, yo, 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 tell them what it's going to be like. I got to hey, talk to the captain. Go talk to him right now. Uh, listen. Go to the security. Just walk by real quick. Security, can you bring my drink, please? Uh, tell them right here. But people the wages, as you can see. Coco Lo, so it is, sweetie. Hey, I'm going to take it. <laughs> no, Evelyn Arena is definitely not good. It's going to take a second. It's going to take a second, gonna take a second to be good. Bottom line. I'm in the nigga house, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk around, and I'm going to show y'all the unexclusive. See, it's shit in here that he don't want y'all to see. I'm going to find it. That's what I do. That's what happens when you put a comedian in the room. But right now, look, I'm going to give y'all a second, tour around, figure out what's going on, enjoy the house the same way I am. I'm going to go drink this, because I done my mouth up with this goddamn Mr. Rain. Cheers to you. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. You, you, you messing up. That's your problem. That's your problem. I, I got a, a nice, go get a drink downstairs. We got, and a, matter of fact, Kevin, come here. Kevin, Kevin, I want you to talk about me as a baby. Come here, man. Hey, hey, there you go. Hey, come on in. Come, come on in here. Come on. There you go. What's your name? What? Okay, Doomsday. Doomsday. Messi. Messi, yes. Messi. The last train to Paris. That's French, baby. For thank you. Yeah, you see it. <laughs> I got my bad thing. Hey, yo, tell them downstairs, just let up girls. Get it, girls, strike up a conversation or something. I got my bad thing. Hey, yo, we live? Tell me, we live right now? Okay, check this out. I think they never been to a Diddy party. If you're not dancing, I just got hard. Then you got to go. So security, Don't if you see somebody and they not dancing, <laughs> they got to go. Yep. He said, I just got hard. Point blank. What? Period. Point. Ladies, I need y'all to come in. Ladies, security, if they ain't dancing, they got to go home. If they ain't dancing, they got to go home. You made it right here. Check it out. I'm ready now. I'm ready. Let's go. Thank you, thank you. Let's go, let's go, let's work. Yeah. Yeah. This is out of control. I'm in the mix of sexy right now. What's up, man? Get a look at the people. Come on, let's get these ladies over here. Let's do it. I'm about to ball out of control right now. I just want to say before I look at you crazy, I love Jesus. I don't know. <laughs> nah, Kevin, you don't love no Jesus. Yashua, yeah, you love the devil. If your name ain't Sean Combs, no you're male, you got to take your hat off. It's a hey. little bit disrespectful to be in my house yep. with your hat on, okay? Uh -huh. All y'all with yeah. these hot ass scuddies on. Hey, yo, yeah. for real, for real. These hot ass beanie caps, get the beanie caps on. Hold on. Shouts out to Diddy's sons who look nothing like him. Oh, come on, man. Come on, dude. Don't nobody want to see that shit. We got a lot of stars in the building right now. First and foremost, myself. Uh, let's let's uh, acknowledge that. Is that Real fair? quick, uh, before we get to pleasant, shout out to the <laughs> fan. Yeah. He's using the eraser on his Tim's. Um, hey, Puff, look. Real quick. Uh, I want to ask some people. Hey, yo, for okay? real, if you hit me that hard again. <laughs> listen, dude, listen. Okay, first of all, get your body together. Work out. Hey, listen. Wow. Um, Trey Songz. Wow. Who's here somewhere. Um, I'm right here, Puff. Oh, 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 he's here? I Where is he? Uh oh. Yeah? Come on in. It's Trey Songs, y'all. Make some noise for Trey Songs in the building, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Straight from the garden, ripping it down. Yeah, that's hot. Press. Nice yeah. Shake. I got a whole. You should say Diddy on it. Hey. What's that? Uh, shout out to Mega Trey in the building. Whatever. Uh, you know, her just came from the garden. Great. Yeah, it's good. Sold out show. Whatever. That was cool. That's great. But we uh, here to talk about last yeah, train to yeah, Paris. Yeah, yeah, Let's talk about last pass real quick, Trey. Uh, it's Mike back. Give me this. All right. I think, I think you, okay, yeah, yeah, take this one. Oh, check, okay, there it is. All right, uh, Trey, you got a track on the album. Yes, I heard love. the track. Uh, you know, I cannot say, I'm a fan of the track. It was, it was, a, it was a very positive track. You did your thing on it. How was, how, <laughs> yeah, 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 my shit was positive. It was positive. I mean, you get, you get a loss for words tonight. Why, why don't you do it? Why don't you do it? Stand up and talk about this track. No, no, very educational. Very educational track. Uh, how, be honest with you, man. In the studio, you know, working with Puff is. Oh, so will you stop with this <laughs> mic, dude? Yeah, yeah, see, see, see. Yeah, see, no. Get it done. Yeah. Send it to you. No, that's this. Yeah, shut up, Shorty. Take this. Is this you a call him right, Shorty. Check. Okay. All right. Yo, stop giving me different microphones. Pause. I'm serious. This is getting weird. All right, look. Uh, 
Trey, on top of that. Okay, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. We need to pass some Ciroc out over there. I see y'all over there. DJ Clue, we want to thank you for being one of our first supporters, man. What's going on? It's official. We're here. Dirty Money album release party. Last train to Paris. It's crazy. Uh, I decided to switch scenes. It got too hectic down there. I'm up here in the hot tub uh, doing it official. You know what I'm saying? My Trey's up here. The fam's up here, you know, when you, when you have a scene like this, you gotta bring bosses with you. As you see, it's female friendly. We got a ladies and a female. She's butt ball. Uh, that's what I call it. Raw dog. Uh, <laughs> raw dog. I'm not jumping to myself. Uh, you know, once, once everybody gets out, you know, just me and the lady. This is my scene. I'm using this type of thing. Uh, you know, doing what I do best. Oh, 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 did the camera catch that? Got the camera. Her hair oh, caught on got fire. The, got the camera. We had technical difficulties last time, but I'm gonna tell you something. When you with troopers, <laughs> we had troopers and we fixed situations. We're up here, everybody's safe. Uh, you know, no, this was here. We had Trigger Trey on the scene. Uh, honestly, uh, second degree black belt in, uh, first date. Uh, right now, also my man Terrence, uh, BT 106 Park. He's in the Wow, building. everybody in there. Shout out to Terrence for a very small waistline on his pants. Listen, we're, we're really right now, listen, what we're doing is unbelievable. <laughs> No, no, T, T, no, no, listen, listen. What we're doing, what we're doing is unbelievable up here. Uh that was wild. A security guard describes exactly what he saw at Diddy's parties. I distinctly remember going to a Diddy party, all the waitresses topless. They serving you, everybody topless, you feel me? Like, he got uh, dancers in cages, people walking around with lions on leashes, tigers on wow. leashes. I seen this with my own two eyes, see what I'm saying? And it was getting so weird in the party, I'm like, man. Bobby Valentino was the person I was bodyguarding there. You see what I'm saying? He pussy don't even really excite me. I'm like, well, what you mean? But he there. What you mean? <laughs> On bro, post grave. I said, what you mean? So he got two girls with him. So I'm thinking to myself, like, damn, hold on. These might not be normal girls. Sure enough. Now he say, man, take my girl to the bathroom. I'm like, okay. We walk into the bathroom. You feel me? She go into the men's bathroom. But that's that's not all the way crazy because it's one bathroom packed. You feel me? People might do that, you know what I'm saying? So people start swarming the door. So I step inside the bathroom door. She's standing at the urinal, dress lifted up. I'm like, damn. Oh, man. Okay, that's how they coming. The Stay weird, y'all. Going. Oh, hell no. Um, two 24 hours before the raid, Kim Kardashian decides to unfollow Diddy, right? Well, Come to find out, this person by the name of Lou Taylor is apparently Diddy's manager. Uh, can you believe Kim Kardashian is being exposed for allegedly being Diddy's accomplice and paying off his partners? Chili, mm. just when we thought 2024 couldn't get any crazier, the universe pulls a fast one on us and drops another bombshell, making us question everything we thought we knew about our favorite celebs. Fans mm. have been suspicious of Kim's involvement in Diddy's affairs for a while now, and it seems like we finally have some evidence to back it up. New information suggests that not only was Kim aware of Diddy's questionable activities, but she also allegedly aided him in covering up the evidence and compensating his victims in exchange for a cut of the profits Ooh, bruh if all these people are involved with this and have to go to court this is gonna be crazy Girl, you better buckle up for this roller coaster of drama and hold on to your edges because this situation is absolutely bonkers. Uh, did Kim really conspire with Diddy to have Kanye West committed to a mental institution so they mm. could swindle him out of his money? Chili, it looks like it's game over for Kim because Diddy is snitching and he is snitching hard. So let's break down this messy tea. And as look, they tried to medicate me. They, I was exhausted. They wrongly diagnosed me. And they, 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 when I asked them how much lithium did you want to put me on exactly it took them four days to answer because they were embarrassed about the amount mm. right and i refused to take this right you understand that if i had taken the medication i would not be here and it would have been oh, woe is he mm. was deeply troubled we miss him we love his music though well they would have britney spears too 
I mean, look at they, they were the Michael Jackson or, or worse, yeah. But so <laughs> look, at, look at what they did. Look at what they did to Britney when she went in. She was tired. She was exhausted. She was in a bad way. But ten years of that medication wrecked her brain. So it looks like Diddy is trying to pull down as many people as he possibly can. Because tell me why this man has been snitching on everybody and they mama. Y'all know how there have been multiple reports about how footage from his parties and freak offs has been leaking for the past couple of days. Well, word on the streets is that he is allegedly behind the leaks, and now he just leaked footage of Kim Kardashian, and it is very, very bad. Hey folks, remember when Cat Williams dropped that bomb about Diddy not being the only celeb in hot water? Well, it seems like he wasn't kidding, because a bunch of them are getting dragged down with him. And guess who's caught up in the whirlwind? None other than Kim Kardashian. But hold on to your hats, because the accusations against her are wild. Word on the street is she might have been helping Diddy smooth over some rough patches by allegedly paying off his accusers and, uh, special friends. Looks like Kim's got more than just contouring on her plate these days. Rumor has it her bank balance isn't looking so hot and it's becoming harder to brush off. This is wild. I've seen Diddy have to hire extra security, almost the military, to stop people from wanting to scale the wall to get in his house because on the other side of that wall is Beyonce, Jay-Z, and every big star you want to know. If you've been keeping up with the recent Hollywood scandals, you know Jason Lee loves to stir things up. But this time, he has got some evidence that can destroy Diddy's entire legacy. Well, Jason Lee is famous for finding the juiciest scandals and sharing them with the world. He has gone after everyone from Hollywood celebrities to famous rappers in the industry. And now, he's focusing on Diddy. But before we get into the details of Jason's claims, let's remember his past successes. Remember when he spilled the beans on Beyonce and Jay-Z's rumored marriage troubles, or when he revealed the truth about Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy. Jason Lee doesn't just talk, he brings the receipts, and that's why people pay attention to what he has to say. So without any further ado, let's get into Jason Lee's shocking claims against Diddy. In a recent statement, Jason made it clear that he's not loyal to the hip-hop mogul. He says he's got insider info from reliable sources within Diddy's inner circle, who have been giving him some pretty disturbing evidence. So what's Jason accusing Diddy of? Well, he's claiming that Diddy is trying to blame his own sons for some of his secret crimes that he has committed in his Whoa. past. This bombshell has rocked Diddy's Whoa. world, painting a not so great picture of the rap star. Whoa. But Jason isn't just talking out of his hat, he says he's got proof to back up his claims. Interestingly, he's got receipts that show Diddy's involvement in extremely illegal activities and his attempts to throw his kids under the bus. What? It's a shocking revelation that has made people question just how deep Diddy's past goes. What? But for Jason, this isn't about drama, it's about holding powerful people responsible for their actions. He's ready to take on Diddy no matter how big of a deal he is. And with the evidence he says he has, it looks like he's gearing up for a showdown with one of hip-hop's heavyweights. If Diddy is guilty of the crimes he is being accused of, he might be facing jail time very soon. And if Jason's evidence holds up, it could have serious consequences for Diddy and his friends. Now, let's go back and take a look at Jason Lee's history of stirring the pot with his previous blackmail incidents. So, this isn't the first time Jason has found himself in hot water for exposing secrets and making allegations against Hollywood stars. Recently, he tried to shoot his shot at Beyonce. This is a lot. Be respectful. Everybody is in the kitchen. Come outside. I just got the icon award. I want a mother party. I want a mother party. Let's go. Oh, oh. Video services are being collected. Everyone's following me for the party. I need the phones, guys. I need the phones. I need the phones. I need the phones. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Quincy, I know you have two phones, Quincy. Oh, there you go. That's what I love. Yeah. Just flow. So proud of you, Just Flow. Look at that. Got all the phones. Do I have everybody's phones? Just from Regis and Kathy Lee.
Everybody was at this dude parties. So how many rounds you be going? You know. The people don't. You you know them. I know, but the people don't. Okay, so, so we'll I'm asking for people. We'll stay in some. We'll stay in some. <laughs> Baby, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> <laughs> On which yard? This nigga don't go to sleep. <laughs> So when Homeland Security raided his homes, they found evidence that his freak offs lasted for days. From this clip, Carisha knew, and she was down with all the freak offs. She was down for not going to sleep. And it's crazy because when she did that Carisha Please podcast, where she supposedly told it all, she was saying how, you know, she wasn't really saying nothing bad about him. She basically was standing beside him without standing beside him. And, you know, that just shows me that she approved of it all. Mm. And she was down with the nastiness. And I just, I think of her so differently now. Because it's just like, damn girl, what was you really doing? What was you really doing for the bag? Like, this is a fucking crazy world. Celebrities be doing a lot of weird shit. For real. In the world. Love, love, love. P. Diddy Lube, Good morning. Little bit. Alright, so that was a TikTok compilation of Diddy, Jay Z, Beyond. It was a lot. Man. This is crazy. It's so many people involved in this. They got R. Kelly talking about he might be testifying. We just gonna sit back and see what happens, man. But I know one thing, if you made it this far in this video, you a real one for real. You a real one for real. Drop that in the comments, man. Don't forget to hit that like button before you stroll out, subscribe. If you went to this stuff, I got a TikTok playlist you can tap into, man. Oh my goodness. You gotta tell them no. Till next time, self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you when you know it. Whew.